Hello everyone, let's take a look on how to convert ProRes RAW files so that they can be imported in DaVinci Resolve and you can actually use the Camera RAW tab. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is download a RAW converter in the Apple App Store. It is a paid app, but you can give it a try for free and then decide if you want to buy it or not. What the app RAW converter does is that it decodes ProRes RAW files and then re-encodes them back into Cinema DNG format including white balance, tint, gamma, and so on. Cinema DNG stores each frame as a separate picture. So when you open your folder, you'll see a lot of pictures. Don't worry, that's fine. DaVinci Resolve understands this, and when you import it into Resolve, it's a video. There are some rumors about Cinema DNG, for example, that it takes a lot of disk space. Uh, that's true only if you are doing it totally uncompressed, uh, but do feel free to use the compressed option like 3 to 1 or 5 to 1, because that's still practically visually loseless. Uh, give it a try and you will see. Also another rumor is that you will lose sound, you will not, I will show you in the moment that the audio track is still completely present. So when we open the app, we can see the interface. In the right bottom corner is the compressions quality settings, and the main button for starting the conversion. On the left, you can see buttons for choosing one or more videos for the conversion, and also a button for the folder where the footage will be saved. And above it, you can see some statistics like speed, remaining time, and such. In the right top space is a table with the selected videos where you can see their preview and more info. Under the table is a checkbox with which you can select the videos that have some problem like unsupported format or camera. Videos can be deleted from the table by selecting them and pressing delete or backspace. In the top left part is a player where you can play back your selected video. So let's jump in and convert something. I have one video selected which was shot as a test for this conversion. You can download the footage from the link in the description. It includes the converted files as well. So I am converting this file four times, each time with a different quality setting. Let's start with uh, the uncompressed. The uncompressed variant has the fastest conversion time. In my case it's about 70 fps. It depends on the speed of your hard drive because the files are pretty big. The compressed way is a bit slower, in my case it's around 30 fps. Now the videos are converted and we can see their file size. If you want to compare their quality, you can download them from the link in the description. 3 to 1 and 5 to 1 are practically visually loseless and you shouldn't find any difference. Now in DaVinci Resolve we import the videos by going to the media tab and dragging the folders in the media pool. As you can see Resolve itself detects the correct FPS and when we drag the video into the timeline we can see that the original 4 channel audio is still part of the video. Now let's jump into color tab. Here we can see the camera raw tab with all the options viable. We have all the control, white balance, tint, gamma and so on. The only thing that is not usable is the ISO column, but we can achieve the same result with the exposure wheel, so that shouldn't be a problem. Here in this case you can see that my sky is pretty overexposed, but I can level it up very easily and the data is all there, so everything is saved. You are still having all your dynamic range. And that's all. If you have any questions, ideas or maybe feedback on the app, please write them in the comments below and see ya.